Hey everyone, I remembered to film a vlog today. It's been a, a really, I want to say crazy week. It's been a weird week. So this whole week I've been sick, but I've been still making videos. You know, I'm pretty happy about that. And, you know, because I built a good habit of making videos that I'm just making them, you know. Looked at my YouTube channel, I basically uploaded twice to three times a day. That's amazing because I believe in August I was uploading... I want to say once every three days, something like that. So think of that. That's like about a 600% increase. So today I wanted to go over my thoughts of, of this upcoming week. Now I know Monday was a weird day for me, so I, I didn't, it was one of those days where just stuff kept happening and I ended up not getting a lot of stuff done that I wanted to get done. You know, you got to have those days every once in a while. And today is... I feel pretty just lucky right now because, you know, last night, Monday, I stayed up till midnight and I had to go to the gym tomorrow, the next day. And I'm like, okay, um, when am I going to go to the gym? And I thought about it, thought about it, thought about it, and I decided that today at 6.30, you know, I'd go to bed, wake up at 6.30, or 6, and then about 6.30 go to the gym, right? And I ended up going at 7. And I couldn't get sleep until like two-ish, so I only got four hours of sleep. But I felt really lucky that even though I only got four hours of sleep, I woke up, I could wake up basically whenever I wanted and go to the gym, drive the car to the gym, do the gym, come back, and it's not even eight o'clock and I'm making stuff, even though I'm tired. You know, I took a nap and filmed stuff, but I just feel really lucky. I also started posting to DTube again because um, I really like the culture of it right now, especially with everyone who kind of wanted to do Steam it and DTube for money is left because of the crypto prices. So I like where this where the space is at right now. So I've been started uploading again. That's why the links are in the descriptions now. It's kind of an interesting thing. But now, you know, I did some thinking about video quality. Now, I I hate talking about video quality. I hate talking about video quality because it's sub so subjective. Video quality is so, so, so subjective, right? And I decided that even though it's subjective, right? Even though video quality is subjective, you know for a fact that there are just some things that might make your video more interactive or this or that. So I decided that I have a backlog of videos. I have still the same amount of time and I'm gonna do some experimenting. Right, I'm going to do some experimenting with editing. Recorded extra gameplay put behind videos. Happy about that. And maybe some zooms or I don't know, man. Just really to start developing, I would say, an editing style. Because I, like, I have a thumbnail style. It's very apparent that I have a thumbnail style. I have a speech pattern style. Very apparent that I have a public, or I guess you could call it a public speaking style. We'll call it that. And... I mean, I gotta have a video editing style. Like, I feel like an editing is my weak area now, which is ironic, because I was a, originally... I was gonna try to be an editor for Call of Duty Clan to make montages. And I used to... I used to make some pretty good... I used to be really big, like, not only played a lot of games, but was good at a lot of games. Now I'm just good at Siege. And I, I mean, like, Siege, I don't mean as in I am a top fragger, as I'm like... I know where my role is and I fit my role. So, now it's time to start editing. It's, God dang it! Oh, shut up! Now that that's out of the way, is I just want to experiment with editing. I want to, like, I want to spend more time editing my videos because even though, technically speaking, on paper, spending more time editing a video that is just a video that people are going to watch anyways, right? On paper, I have more time, so I'm going to be more happier. On paper, right? But in practice, spending more time with my videos, like, it makes me more proud of them. I remember back a long, long, long time ago when I used to make these things called cut commentaries. I made like seven of them. And i just play a game and talk. And, you know, the editing would just be cut, so the commentary was fluid, but the gameplay was not. People like that. Um, uh, the way that I did it, no, it was boring, but, um, 
I was really proud of those videos. Like, thinking back, I'm really, really proud of them because I spent a lot of time editing them. Two hours of footage down to a five minute video, right? Think of like how much time you'd spend editing that, one or two hours. So now, um, I wanna get back to spending time with my videos. And I'm, I'm, I'm pumped to do that because even though I spend time, I'm, I, I spend more time doing editing than I, than I need to, you're not, there's always the philosophy that you're not gonna be great doing average things, right? And there's a balance. I'm not gonna spend five hours editing a four minute video that can, that can just be a straight commentary. But I'm not gonna just spend five minutes cutting it up and not trying to improve it a little bit. Just a little bit. That's the thing is, this is more for, I wanna spend time in the editing room. Cause when I make a thumbnail for a video, let me explain something. When I edit the videos, I'm just editing the videos. When I make the thumbnail, the thumbnail is what really makes me happy about a video right now. I want it to be the thumbnail and the editing and the descriptions and tags too. It's that editing, man. That's that's my weak point right now. Well, my weakest point. I wouldn't say it's a weak point of mine. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. You know, I've been really good about recording extra gameplay, taking the time, you know, to record Rainbow Six Siege gameplay and Oblivion gameplay and you know, I don't have all the gameplays I want like I'm not gonna, it's very inefficient, this is where efficiency actually matters, to play Oblivion and get like 30 minutes of a mage footage, 30 minutes of a warrior footage, 30 minutes of a s assassin footage. It's more actually efficient to do an hour and a half of mage because then you get used to the character, then you start playing better, then you get more interesting gameplay and you can do harder things. So that's why you might see some videos with mage gameplay in the background, or random things, it's fine. And I also want to... I've been getting a lot of Siege gameplay, because I play a lot of Siege. I don't, I like, I don't talk about um, Rainbow Six Siege a lot, I just choked down a cough there. But Siege is like... However much I talk about Oblivion on this channel, I play Siege. And Oblivion. So, yeah, that's what's going on, guys. It's gonna be great, it's gonna be amazing, I'm happy, I'm excited. It's fun not only to start new projects, but to improve on new projects. Like my vlog, you know, I haven't been the best at vlogging because I haven't had anything to vlog about. And I'm like, why not? It's because I'm not doing enough. If I don't want to vlog, it's because I'm not doing enough. And it needs to be more than business as usual. Business as usual needs to be interesting and needs to be fun. And this is going to make it interesting and fun. It's going to make it less of a... Oh, Pacific is another on-paper YouTuber to Pacific is Pacific. I am me. Right, that's what's gonna happen. So with that being said, guys, thank you for watching this vlog. If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more vlogs so you can check out my adventure of just me trying to do stuff. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and I suck just as bad as you do at vlogging. And I'll see you in the next episode stream vlog or D2 video. Whatever I decide to make.